like lunch or whatever in, in this classroom and we're all sitting there and then Matt was there and then I remember you were like complaining about your braces or something <laughs> and I was like oh braces you get them tightened or whatever like yeah dude I, I know all about that and so I have braces too yeah and then you know love was born love was born love was we went we had lunch together every day for the rest of the summer uh yeah every once in a while so. yeah, <laughs> Matt, had a lot of, Matt had a lot of more friends than me I, I like, did not dude I've been mean, like that yeah, Matt was like, popular were, Matt was popular yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I remember we started talking about music. Like I, I was in like a band, kind of sorta, and then Matt talked about how he was also in a band, um, and we were talking about band names. And Matt was like, "Dude, we have not gonna lie, like we do have like the coolest band." Name. <laughs> and I was like, well, "Okay, what's your band name?" He's like, "It's Insert Name Here," <laughs> and I was like, insert. "That is like the coolest band name ever." And I, <laughs> and I was like, "Dang, I hope like." Me and this guy can eventually be in a band because, like, that's really he cool. He comes up with the names. Yeah. He'll be the name guy. He's an idea man. <laughs> didn't, even, yeah. didn't even need to hear him play it. Yeah, I was like, all right, this guy's got the creativity that I'm looking for. Um, we finally met a guy who played bass. We're like, sweet, dude. There's a dude who plays bass now. We can get him in the band. Yeah. Matt, but played. you know what's cute is I didn't even really play bass, oh, you know? That's right. Because yeah, yeah. that's the, that's the twist, right? It's it because I wanted to play band. upright bass because I played guitar, you know? And like, like Trace, I wasn't good enough. And so I wanted to play upright bass in the orchestra because I played that in middle school. And then Miss Wegman was like, hey, you don't want to play that because you're, you you're not good at it. Yeah. <laughs> but I won't tell you that. It's just because we need you here. So they, because it was an all boys, I don't like, I don't know why I'm doing it. Because it was an all boys Catholic really school. So there was a lot of band, everyone wanted to be on the football team and play lacrosse and stuff like that. And there was like nine kids in the band. So then they didn't have like tubas and like all that stuff. All so that they just wind. did an electric bass. And I never played electric bass. And so she was like, just play that, uh, you stupid idiot. And I, yeah. so I started playing it, and then Joe was like, you play bass, right? And I was like, I guess I do. <laughs> and so I kind of just got the roped world, into it. Yeah. The world and it you stopped. You still trying bass. to just uh, get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody else will get out of the way. Still the bass, yeah. but like. Still just a, it's a, this hey, is we all just a based on a loose uh, like obligation to my band teacher. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> we, we throw him a guitar every now and then. We throw him a guitar every now and then. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's. They really fired cool. you guys fired yeah. the singer. Shuffled, and yeah, then we, we like post you. online. Or you something? Post online. How did you online. Know? Yeah, yeah, you post online. You're looking for a new guy. singer. Or like Facebook or something. We're like <laughs> looking for singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock band. And I, uh, <laughs> I like knew them. And I, it was okay. Showed initiative, man. Yeah, I did. So here's what's funny. Actually, is when I would imagine myself. You know, playing in a band, you know, mm -hmm. in my head when I was listening to music, I would imagine beating you guys at the Battle of the Bands, dude, with my oh. own band, dude. <laughs> oh, <God>. Are you <laughs> serious? Yes, dude. Wow, wow. dude. Okay. Good thing you I didn't tell us that. Nice. I know. It's just news to me. And then I joined up with them, but um, <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat them? I know, I reached oh, out. You tried to infiltrate us. You yeah. tried to go behind yeah. them in the enemy lines. I, I reached out to Matt. And like he was like, yeah, dude, let's like do something together. And then he never responded to me for like two map. for like two to three weeks. And I was like, all right, I guess like they found I guess they found problem. someone. <laughs> and then I saw him at a music festival in Tampa, and he was like, he's like, bro, like you still trying to audition or something? I was like, dude, you never texted me back. Yeah, but what I do is I I lie and I go, oh, dude, Connor's not texting me back. And then I and then, and then, I, show, and then I showed up and we played a Can't Stop was the first song we played together. I think. Always so, played yeah. Chili Pepper songs. Yeah, yeah. Like that's song, yeah. First song I played with you guys was Snow. Snow Heyo. Yeah. These three come from Tampa to Belmont in Nashville as a band without the drummer, looking for a drummer, and I was just like right across the hall. Joe and Matt's moms, both of them come into the room and like, oh, you're a drummer? I know Matt, Matthew. Like, my our sons are looking for a drummer in, in their band, literally first day of school. And and we didn't, and then, Mom. and then, and then the three of them, I like, in my mind, I remember it. You know how, like, in the movies, when like people's heads like pop up from, like, around the corner, like, like they're stacked or whatever. It's like three heads just like come up from around the from around the wall. That's my memory of them po poking their heads in, in uh, to my room. We, no, we we shopped around for a little while. Just, like, yeah, it, it wasn't they played love at first sight. It was uh, you they know, played with other drummers. Time, but... We dated for a while. Yeah, it's not we, one of those stories where yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> no. But, nah, but so <laughs> the biggest thing 
I didn't even hear what, what you said. What you said. Uh, but the biggest thing was, honestly, what ended up, like, I, we ended up jamming together so much that we just, like, vibed together hard. But, uh, yeah. So Connor, you know, had just joined the band, so we like needed a new name, you know, got to rebrand. Um, and we had like a week till the Battle of the Bands, and like you know, they were like, yeah, we got it. Like, Sounds that. like a movie. Yeah. There's a week. We so have the start of a week narration of the like, a high school movie. <laughs> we had a week till the Battle of the Bands. What were we gonna do? <laughs> so was, like, I mean, we get an no email. Name. They're like, like, they're like, guys, like we gotta make a flyer. Like you gotta like, give us some type of name. So me and the old drummer, um, Matt Sabo, were at uh, the Tampa Aquarium, and we were just kind of looking around, and there was a beautiful parrotfish exhibit there. Uh, and we were like, oh, that's a super cool fish. And like, especially at the time, we were, I was that douchebag in high school who like wore the poopy necklace and stuff, and, like the sublime shirt. So we were all into like the reggae and like that kind of thing. We're like, oh, this is very fitting. This is cool. I could see it. It'd be a cool logo. It's colorful. So we just kind of went with that and um, just stuck with it. Yeah, I would say I would say the name had less meaning to us at first, but now a lot of meaning. We are all obsessed with parrotfish. They're cool. Yeah, fish. they're very awesome fish. Me and Trace have actually eat, eaten one. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. before uh, it's trippy. Yeah, yeah. We had to, you know, take in the the soul the soul of our mm -hmm. of our you true creator. Yeah, <laughs> the parrotfish. Like you, you are what you eat. You know what I mean. <laughs>
were playing, we, it was like, you know, three hour set, uh, a bunch of covers, um, just like a bar show. Just like a bar band, yeah. And we for four these, <laughs> these yeah. random girls come in and they're like, Connor kept saying, hey, we're Parafish, whatever. We're Parafish, here's the next song. And they're like, Parafish, like, I think I know that band. And then they come up to us and like, do you guys play Miami? And we're like, yeah. And like, you're one of our favorite bands or whatever. And, and they were like, we thought you were way bigger. We thought you were way bigger yeah, than just you Just let are. them down. Yeah, yeah. We, had our t- we had our we're tip jar this bar show because <laughs> yeah. we're just- I would say one of my coolest two fan experiences is seeing people that have done covers of our songs. I was gonna say on, that too. Yeah. Oh, on like shit. Instagram or like yeah. people like, I, I, heard, I had a band like DM us that was like, hey, like we're covering your song for like a show. And they're, they're from like California and I was like, that's cool to me. Also us like, lear- like, I'm just thinking about it, like when we learn covers and stuff like that, when you're covering another musician's song, there's like this new like relation, it's like, it goes way beyond just like listening to it. Like the experience you're having with the music is just so like, you're analyzing it and you're learning it and you just have this like whole new relationship with that artist music and just like the fact that someone, you know, would ha- like now has that view and like ha- like tried to do that approach like with go music. Go through the process like, of like yeah. learning it, yeah. It's really cool. You get hit, some people hit us up on Instagram and like will, you know, just say really nice things and that does feel like kind of good because like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I'll go into these kind of existential crisis modes and be like, am I doing anything like somewhat meaningful with my life and that kind of yeah. makes it feel like a little bit. Yeah. It is, it um, is one of those industries where it's like definitely like it doesn't there's not a lot of concrete like evidence that you're doing good at the beginning yeah. of it and it's hard sometimes to be like am I like doing this right but you know yeah. those like fans and stuff and people are just like telling you like what like that like you mean a lot to them and stuff like that, that does keep you For want, sure. wanting to like go yeah. and just like yeah. be- believing in yourself. <laughs> I remember right at the start of quarantine there was this girl who was hitting us on Instagram that like she just liked our stuff a lot and I was like I'm so happy that you like our stuff so much, and we had just made a, I guess it was the, it was a recording of yeah, um, like, a ba- the demo like or hiding or something, and I just was like, hey, by the way, here's a, here's a song that we're working on, and I I just wanted to get that out to her uh, before it was released, just because like, it, it's cool to have someone be like with you as you're making something, and you kind of want to share it while you're creating it, I guess. So surprised, even if it takes a while, I don't want to be mine. I don't love me, but I still love you. Maybe all this love is really all we ever do. Don't you love me? Obligations went out of my 
chest if I don't burn out If I be head of the west, so please Just give me a break Dishes in the sink and we're all in blood But at least we got problems to avoid, oh please Just give me a break I'm trying to please everybody's really bleeding my dry I was supposed to cut the silence with these muffled cries, oh please Why don't you give me a break Like we all live together now, and like we love living together. But the goal is to hopefully get get some money, move out, and get a get a studio, a nice nice like band house, and then also have. We always talked about having having a plot of land with little tiny houses on it, and then, and then a big studio in the middle. Mm. When when you can actually do the band as your job and like yeah. actually get there and like actually spend time together, to me there's like no difference because we have been spending so much time together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's really just not having to. Just not going, going yeah. to work. Yeah, being our own bosses. Um, yeah, I mean, like, once we get to where, like, Parafish is financially supporting us, like, I mean, I don't care about, like, you know, having, like, a Ferrari or, like, something crazy like that, but, like, just the financial freedom from that, that's, like, making it, in my opinion. You know what I'm mean, saying? Like, having freedom to be, like, we can do whatever we want with our music, go anywhere we want, and, like, work with the people that we want to work with, you know? Yeah. It's just, like, just all the, like, total freedom, it would just be, and we can get that, like, on a small, smaller scale and I would be like totally fine with that, you know. Yeah. So and it's can, respect. Can, yeah. I guess, I, it's more like freedom, it would be cool to just like, yeah, I want to be respected. I think, yeah, like time, time and freedom and time, like the yeah. budget to where like we're working on the song and we throw on like, you know, like little like MIDI strings and it's like, oh, now we have the budget, we could hire like a string like section. A, right. String so like using yeah. that to um, just take the music to the next level, yeah, I guess. And, and just do like, things that we couldn't really yeah. do now because we can't afford it.
<laughs> We're like, wait, the oh, camera's rolling? Yeah, like, <laughs> 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 In here. <laughs> we love music and we just want music to music. <laughs> And we're getting wild today! I like it. <laughs> hey guys, we're parrotfish from sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Go Fox! And we are going to make a scene this week on Marquee Backstage. Check it. Hi America! Hello America! <laughs>